Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me again. This video thumbnail do not lie. Um, I will show you how to get Windows 95 running on a deck station. To get Windows 95 running on a on Android device in the way that I'm about to show you, there is loads of videos online. I mean, you just type in a, in the YouTube search "Limbo PC Emulator Windows 95" and it's like a lot and a lot of videos about it. Majority of them actually in, in the language that I don't understand. Um, but I. I've not seen any who actually tried to do this on a deck station. And it's a bit funny and uh, ironic um, that the deck station that is replacing the PC will run the old Windows version. But anyway, let's try, let's try and see how it goes. What you need to do is basically you need to get yourself a Limbo PC emulator app for Android. So if you go to Google Play Store and just search for Limbo, Limbo PC emulator Q, uh, Q E M U X 86. So that's the one. There's another one called iBosch. Mm, I might try that one. Anyway, <laughs> hold on. There's another one. A Limbo how to run PC. What's this? It's a tutorial. Okay. Anyway, I will show you all this. PC Windows simulator. Exagear. Oh, well, by the way, Exagear. Uh, company is basically being closed. Uh, I might talk about this in, the, in another video. Anyway, we are here for Limbo PC Emulator. So you got this one. The load is free to use, open source, free to use. Go download and use it. So got that one downloaded, open up, and here we go. So this is, obviously uh, it can run in a full screen mode, but most of the settings you will be able to see because my face is in the way. So I'm gonna set up this using the, the a window version uh, let's say actually do this way because a lot of clicky will be I don't want to write this way better and um, after it's all set up I'm actually gonna go in a full screen and I'll show you how it goes so let's start setting up load the machine I want to load a new machine and obviously I'm gonna call this Windows 95 and what it does when you click Windows 95 it creates a Windows 95 folder inside your inside your storage so limbo limbo machines you go, I try with 95 XP, not really working. I need a bit more um, uh, tweaking required or research required to get Windows XP running. And to be honest, these two actually two can be deleted because they are just me was messing around. So we are with Windows 95. So Windows 95 is created. Fine. Architecture 886, x86. Machine type, obviously PC the CPU model and there's a lot of choose from. I quickly googled on uh, to see what's the best CPU for Windows 95 and apparently it's 486. How many cores? One. How many RAM? <laughs> I'll give 256 RAM. Actually no, let's give, let's give this machine uh, 256, 512 would be I think half a gig. Here we go. Uh, hard disk A, B, C, and D. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like a A disk. Used used to be in back old days. It's a floppy disk. B, I never actually had a computer with a hard disk by the letter B. C is obviously used to be a main one, and D is something else. Like right now on my current computer, C is like a SSD with two hundred fifty-six gigabytes, and my hard drive D is three terabytes. Uh, anyway, but um, we're gonna choose hard drive A as the beginning in the list. Click there, as, as you can see, there's a lot of me messing around, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click open, and inside my folder, I have the c.img. I tried to run off ISO, and I mean, uh, before I even started recording this, I went to and chose CD-ROM, and I selected the Windows 97 ISO, and I successfully installed Windows 95 from zero to fully finished. But for some reason, Limbo PC, um, Limbo PC emulator, when you select the hard drive where I installed Windows, Windows 95, it just said, oh, I can't read this hard drive, nothing's there, it don't exist, I don't know, I might have done something wrong, and I need a bit more research on that. So I'm using the c.image file that I found online. I cannot share this image with you because it's a bit like I'm sharing the Windows 95 copy, might be old, might be good. Um, you just basically done a, do a Googling and you'll find it. Believe me, Google is your friend. I'm your friend and Google is your friend. 
And sadly, in this kind of situation, I don't really want to help you. I don't want to share c.image file with you. Uh, CD-ROM, leave everything fine. S says STD. Uh, yes, leave that fine. Pretty much the rest of them can be a default. Under user interface, I found out that SDL is works better than VNC. So SDL is fine. Uh, make sure you click the full screen. You'll get the full screen. And pretty much that's it. So maximize this and click run. Booting from a hard drive, starting Windows 95. Let's see how it goes. So it's running, it's opening, yes. And obviously there's no sound, so you can hear the amazing Windows 95 starting, um, starting um, sound, but bingo, here we are. We are in a Windows 95. So hello, boys and girls, if you think what the hell that is, that was our operating system that I used to use in my old computer. Obviously, the resolution is pretty much one to one exactly what it was. And by the way, back then, all the computers were more than were square. It wasn't any widescreen. Widescreen was just basically a cinema screen. Mouse uh, keyboard's working, apparently. Uh, no. Uh, but the mouse, the way the mouse works, I just need to click and hold, and then I interact with the mouse. So now I'm going to go to start and let's see what we have. So we have documents, settings, control panel printer, okay, programs, online services, <laughs> AOL, startup, nothing, Internet Explorer, mail, uh, MC, DOS, accessories, uh, what I have, multimedia, I have uh, active movie control, amazing, what, what, uh, and memories it brings. Scan disk. Yeah, I remember that. Notepad paint. Let's see if I can actually open paint. So I click on that and let's see if paint will open. <laughs> it did. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I'm actually... It's, 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 it brings me so much memory. Oh my God. Come on. Seriously. Right. Let's draw something. Okay. Uh, Mr... My phone vibrates every time I'm trying to, I basically to draw, I need to double click and hold and then this draws, uh, makes a line basically, so it acts like a click and hold in Windows 95. On the deck station, you need to double click and hold. And come on, what a masterpiece. I can't, I can't believe it's working. Um, let's close that up. Okay, do I wanna save this masterpiece? No, thank you. Let's go try to play some games. And yes, boys and girls, Windows 95 had a, probably the, one of the best games ever. And there are Free Cell, Hearts, Minesweeper, and Solitaire. I mean, amount of time I spent playing Solitaire. Oh my God. In school, I remember in IT class, when nothing else to do, we used to play Solitaire. So let's see. Okay, I need to click once. I just overkilled a bit. So, okay. Apparently, I cannot drag. Nope, that's not working. All right, okay, let's go and try to uh, play something else. We go to programs, accessories, games, uh, Minesweeper. I never actually grasped what the hell Minesweeper is, so I might lose now. Okay, uh, let's click here. Boom, straight away, I got the the mine so okay uh click here okay click here so right click i should put the flag up and right click acts as a as a click so left click and right click of the mouse on the deck station acts the same as a left click on the window so i can't put any flags okay last thing what we're gonna do we're gonna go and browse the web or oh, we're actually gonna try to browse the web with internet explorer Oh my God, what a days. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll start to explore and try again. Are you actually gonna load? Oops, I minimized it. Uh, let's open up. Okay, uh, full screen. Let's try. YouTube.com. <laughs> nope, uh, not happening. Apparently, I, when you setting everything up, uh, it detects uh, your broadband and everything. I might done something wrong. Um, let's go to my computer. Let's see what's inside there. 
So we have a Windows C disk. Uh, where is the properties here? I think that used to be properties. Bingo. Let's click properties. So we have one gigabyte of data. Okay. Um, so we used uh, free space. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Free space. I have nearly a gig of data. And back then, I mean, one gigabyte of data back then was amazing. I mean, it was like, I mean, back then was one gig. I mean, if you had a USB key with 256 megabytes, you were basically balling. You had money. And let's go back in. Uh, what else we have? Up and down. Can I create a folder? So if I go to Windows C, okay, I've got a bunch of files. Can I create a file i mean a folder new bingo create a folder oh yes mr p mr p secrets <laughs> it's working let's get it inside a uh, file new text document yes top secret do you want to change this oh yes and it creates right I forgot to actually rename it. Can I can I rename? Because you had to put back then you had to put all the extensions. I mean, if you've done something like put the text uh, a file created, you always had to put txt. So then it knows as text file or I think it was DOC for Microsoft Word and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's open up. Oh yes. Hi everybody. How are you all doing today? This is amazing. This is amazing. I mean, <laughs> can I actually, uh, let's write it down this one. Uh, Windows 95 on Dex. Cause I'm, 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 I'm just creating this one while I'm, while I'm still here. Cause I'm going to use this as a thumbnail because I should be able to increase the font size. Um, sorry, what you mean? I can increase the font size. Uh, page setup bingo should be under that. I mean like Okay, print is not going <laughs> Okay, this is not working control Z working. Okay, that's not working uh, control Z I can't remember how to actually increase the text size anyway uh, Brilliant that's working Okay, you know, what? I'll do a quick screenshot of that just for my uh, my thumbnail Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so Windows 95 running on a deck station. If, if, well, do not expect to have something amazing on here. I don't think if a lot of things might run or will run or not run. Uh, I might do in the future try to actually get some MC DOS games somehow. Bloody hell, what the hell just happened now? The graphics. When that used to happen, it used to mean that uh, your computer is on the last legs, basically. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I was planning to say, in the future, I might try to get uh, some, some, here we are. Can I actually close this? Okay, the GPU card pulls up. Anyway, I'll leave with like this. What I'll try to do in the future might I'll try again Windows XP. I noticed that Limbo PS PC emulator allows you to uh, emulate environment for a lot of Linux distros. So I'm going to try that as well. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. If you have any suggestions or you actually used this before and I probably done something wrong or you actually done more than I did in here. So give me your experience and let me know what you think uh, about this video. I am on a Twitter, by the way, and I just recently created myself a Reddit account. So I'm reading Reddit. I'm going in there, ha sharing my videos just to, to people who probably don't know what the deck station can do. And I'm just posting my videos into a Samsung Note 9 uh, subreddit, into a de Samsung Deck subreddit. Anyway, it will help me a lot if you find any of my videos worth sharing. Just share them on the Twitter or Reddit because that brings more people into into our team and the more people will watch the more people will spread the word about deck station and i think in this way samsung will develop deck station even faster because the more people will be interested in all the shenanigans 
the more Samsung will think that, oh, actually, you know what, this is not bad. So they're gonna, I hope they're gonna push then the production and, and all the fixing bugs and etc. and whatnot with the, um, of the deck station. To close, by the way, this one, I just click on the back arrow and then the here, there is an option, shut down, restart, control, delete, etc. I'm gonna say shut down and hopefully my Windows 9 to 5 shuts down. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this video on the social media because this will bring more exposure to Dex Station and Dex Station and Linux and Dex and the Samsung will think like, yes, like I said, Samsung will think, oh, brilliant. This is taking a, a big off up the hill. This means everybody's enjoying this and they hopefully will carry on with the Dex Station faster. will bring more features to the environment that we we love so much. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.